Hey guys, and uh, back on the PSP for another Sonic review. Ah, you can see my face. Oh god. Um, yeah. This is another Sonic game that got released for PSP. And uh, what is it? Well, first of all, it's a sequel. To the last one I reviewed, and the last one I reviewed, you should already know. Um, yeah. Load successful. This is Sonic Rivals 2. What an inventive title, right guys? Anyway. Yeah. This game I find to be much better than the first Sonic Rivals. Um, mainly because... Um, it's got a lot more characters, and the unlocking system is way better. Um, and my favorite Sonic character is actually in this game. Um, Espio the Chameleon, which I like. He's not in many, not in many Sonic games, as you very well may know. Um, anyway, so, the story, uh... Dr. Eggman Nega is back. That was a close call. Yeah. The story mode has cutscenes in it. Metal Sonic. I don't have time to waste dealing with you. The story mode has cutscenes in them, which I think is a vast improvement over the first game's cutscenes. Um So yeah. And this game even has its own theme song, which I think is pretty cool. Anyway, so we have Espio versus Metal Sonic, which I think is pretty ironic because Espio looks like Metal Sonic. And I'm not even joking about that. Anyway, pretty much the same items as in the first game. This is pretty much the first Sonic Rivals, except with more characters and a better unlock system. And each character, I didn't cover this in the first game, but each character has their own special move that you can access. Only in this game it's way better because you can collect rings, a certain amount of rings to get it. Um, each character's special is different unless you're Metal Sonic, because Metal Sonic, he's pretty much Kirby in the respect that he copies the abilities of the other rivals. And uh, you probably heard me say that Espio is my favorite Sonic character. Who doesn't like Espio? I mean, come on. He's a stinking ninja. Alright? He's a purple chameleon and he's a stinking ninja. There's nothing more bad apple than a stinking ninja. Alright? Just like Silent Rob said. Okay? Now, uh, do a barrel roll, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Um, the plot. Um, again, the plot is forgettable, if you ask me. It's not very good. It's not very, uh... I don't... I just don't find the plot to be very memorable. But, uh, yeah. I think this game has way better music. The gameplay is pretty much the same. It just seems like a vast improvement over the first Sonic Rivals. Which was a good game, but I don't know, this game just makes it look bland, I think. I don't know why. Probably because my favorite characters in this game. Yeah. And every time you finish a race, it saves. Uh, you have several different versions of single player. Um, you can fight the bosses. I didn't mention that in the first Sonic Rivals. You can fight the bosses. Uh, now, you saw a race back there. What I like, what I really like, what I like to imagine as a throwback to Sonic the Fighters, in my opinion, um, is that, check this out. This game is partly a racing game Partly a fighting game, kind of. And yeah, just like the first game, it's got alternate costume that 
alternate costumes that you can unlock. Very cool. I do like that little feature. And it's a way better unlocking system than the first Sonic Rivals, which, if you ask me, is always an improvement. Um, yeah. I'm fighting against Knuckles here. The reason I'm fighting against Knuckles is that, well, SBO Knuckles, they do have some significance to each other. I mean, they were both members of Team Chaotix. Um, yeah. And you can tell because SBO looks different there. Um... The cups are different. I will ex explain them. And again, I'm, a, I'm in a really awkward format here, so please try and bear with me. It's a little weird playing the game like this. I laid my hands down on a desk here, so... And, yeah... Your character pretty much only has two attacks in the battle mode, just jumping and jostle. Though some of the costumes are pretty laughable, as I'll get to them shortly. I won't get to the cut mode quite yet. Um... Because there's two other things I want to cover: the costumes and the and the free play mode. Yes, there's a free play mode. Um, now, yeah, there's multiplayer. Um, just like the first game, you got wireless play and you got game sharing, but no one ever wants to do wireless. And uh, wireless actually requires certain. Uh, wireless play actually requires certain to uh, to get certain costumes, which um, I can't get. And I'll explain the ones I can't get here. I pretty much got them all except for the ones that require that. Um, anyway, here's free play. We'll get to this shortly, but there's also this. There are alternate costumes in this game, just like the first one. Only, they're all in one, not just a separate piece. You got Default, there's Sonic's Race Suit, Sonic's Ice Suit, and Sonic's Black Tie, which is absurd for Sonic to have a Black Tie costume. Um, Shadow has an 80s costume, which again is absurd, but I still use it. Mercenary, Default, and Race. Uh, Knuckles has a gladiator costume, which I find really cool. Um, default, race, and armor, which is where Armor King's armor went. Um, Silver has a cyber costume, which I think looks bad apple. Uh, default, race, and Christmas. <laughs> uh. Oh, the ones I don't have are Sonic's Cheetah costume, which is even more absurd than this stinking tuxedo he has on. Shadow has a flame costume, which I don't have. That's from the first Sonic Rivals. Knuckles has an Eggman costume. I'm not even kidding. Silver has a lightning costume, which I wish I had. Um, there's Metal Sonic. He has Default, um, Mac 30, which I call... 3.0, actually, which I call Metal Shadow. Circuits, that's, I think that's how you say that word. Um, and Jester, which just looks sticking ridiculous. And it's also got Mac 2.0 uh, from Sonic Rivals 1, uh, which I, keep, I obviously don't have. Uh, here's Tails. Tails has Default, Ace Pilot, which looks sticking cool. Captain and Tiger, I'm not kidding, and Zebra, which I don't have because, you know, can't get the cup circuit. Here's Espio, got Default, Race, Mummy, I'm not even kidding, he has a Mummy costume, Ninja, and Ninja. Um, he would have a Knight costume if I could get that. 
I don't really like any of SBO's alternate costumes. I just use the race costume because I like it the best. I think it's closer to his alternate, to his, to his default self. I don't really like his mummy suit or his racing suit. I don't really like him that much. Here's Rouge. She's got default. Uh, she's got race, which pretty much looks like her Sonic Rider suit. Stealth, uh, which I don't have. Armor. And Raider, which is obviously not a ripoff of Lara Croft. But anyway, let's get to the... Let's get to the uh, free play mode. And what it is, is pretty much... It's this. It's kind of like Sonic Advance or the classic Sonic games where you're just on your own. You don't have a stake in opponent. So yeah, I do like this mode a lot. It's kind of a throwback to the old Sonic. Um, for the specials that all the characters have, um, let's see, Espio can turn invisible, well, kind of, Tails can fly, Rouge can throw bat minions, Sonic can, uh, get a high boost of speed, and these specials were in the first game, uh, Knuckles can, uh, do something called Knuckle Slam, where he does like a, where he does like a insane fireball attack thing, and uh, Shadow has Chaos Control, which slows down time. Uh, Silver has Psychic Control, which is by far the most annoying attack in the sticking game. Um, and. Uh, yeah, I think I pretty much covered it all. Oh, and Metal Sonic copies everybody. Um, I think the newcomers in this game... Yeah, I'm pretty positive. The newcomers in this game are SBO, Tails, and Rouge. Um, I think SBO is a nice addition because he's my... Well, he's my favorite Sonic character. And I think Tails is a nice position. A nice addition, too. Although, I don't necessarily like Tails, but... Tails was a pretty much a thought for most Sonic fans. There actually are some people out there who like Tails, but I'm not one of them. Um, there's also... Oops, didn't mean to click on that. There's also Cup Circuit. Now, Cup Circuit um, pretty much allows you to go through... We'll do Metal Sonics because... His is pretty much, yeah, that's Metal Sonic Special, copycat. Um, oh god, not this boss. Um, yeah, Cup Circuit, you can go through a fight, any fights or races or bosses that you went through in the story mode. And it unlocks uh, certain costumes, you know. So basically, it's the first game, oh god, what am I doing? It's the first game, except better. And that's exactly what it is, it's the first game, except better. I would highly recommend this over the uh, the first one. As a, as a matter of fact, this game is so good, I would say just skip the first one, and you know, just go ahead with this. Um, I won't, I'll leave the cup circuit thing to somebody else. I won't go through this. Sorry guys, but you're going to have to look to somebody else for the cup circuit. But yeah, that's Sonic Rivals 2. It's pretty much a gem on the PSP. If you're not into like Gears of, uh, you know, like that Gears of War stuff. 
I would say that this pre this game is pretty much a uh, pretty much a gem. I'd say. All right. Um, if I forgot anything or if I got anything any info any information wrong, which I shouldn't have. If I did, shame on me. Um, feel free to correct me on that, guys, in the comments. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this is Sonic Rivals 2. Um, I think it's a really good game, and I'll see you later.